welcome viewers in this video we will see the program to find whether the given number is prime number or not using the c programming language subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic program to find whether the given number is prime number or not using the c programming what is mean by prime number the number divided by number itself it's not divided by any other number is called a prime number if you take one number it will not divided by any other number it is divided only by that number itself that is called a prime number so we have to check the number is given means we have to check the number divided by one by one we need to divide if it is divided by any other number we can decide it is not a prime number it is not divided by any other number it is a prime number right we will take one example if you take 8 take the number 8 how to find the remainder if it is divided or divided or not by using the operator percentage operator so this divided operator will give the quotient percentage operator will give the remainder value after divided it will give the remainder value right so this percentage operator used for is called a modulo division is for give the remainder value this divider will give the quotient value right? now we will take the example 8 number 8 so we cannot divide by 1 because all the numbers are divided by 1 itself so we can start with the number 2 right so we can start with the 2 3 4 5 6 up to 7 right we need to divide from 2 to 7 that is the number 8 is given so we cannot start with 1 1 is divided by all the numbers so we can start with the 2 and up to that number before that number up to 7 we cannot divide by 8 also 8 divided by 8 itself so we can stop up to 7 2 to 7 from 2 to the number minus 1 that is 8 minus 1 7 right so 8 percentage 2 what is the remainder this 8 is divided 4 times it goes the remainder is 0 the remainder 0 mean what is the meaning it is exactly divided so it is not a prime number if it is divided by any other number it's not a prime number right so we need to start from 2 to 7 we have to divide one by one first we need to divide by 2 3 4 5 6 7 if any number is divided we can stop the process we can decide that that is not a prime number so here it is divided by 2 so it is not a prime number now we can take the number 7 7 percentage 2 7 means we have to divide from 2 to 6 that is number 2 to n minus 1 7 minus 1 up to 6 so first we will divide by 2 so while divide by 2 it goes 3 times the remainder is 1 that means it is not exactly divided 7 divided by 3 so it goes 2 times 2 into 3 6 the remainder is 1 that means it is not divided the it is not divided the remainder is available 7 percentage 4 that is equal to it is goes one time the remainder is 3 that means not divided exactly 7 percentage 5 so it goes one time remainder is 2 5 into 1 5 5 minus 7 minus 5 remainder 2 7 divided by 6 it goes one time 7 6 one time the remainder is 1 so for all the number it is not divided the remainder is available remainder available mean it is not divided exactly right so it is not divided by 2 3 4 5 as well as 6 we cannot go 7 because 7 divided by 7 is possible similarly we cannot go with 1 all number is divided by 1 so we have to start from 2 only we have to go up to 7 means 7 minus 1 6 for all the cases this not is not divided so this 7 is the prime number we can decide 7 is the prime number right so if it is divided we can say it is not a prime number we can stop the process we no need to go to 3 4 7 we need to divide from 2 to 7 if it is divided by 2 no need to check with the 3 4 5 6 7 once it is divided we can stop the process or we can say it is not a prime number if it is not divided we have to go one by one two three four six for all the cases if it is not divided we can say the number seven is the prime number so this is the process to find 
whether it is prime number or not right now we'll go to the program so header files we need to include it's not available here by default we have to include the header file standard io.h conio.h standard input output dot header file conio input dot output header file right now we start with the main program void, void main then open the braces integer n n is the number we are going to check right the number whether it is prime or not we have to open the loop in order to create from 2 to 7 or 2 to 6 we need a for loop right so that for that we are using i flag we are using one more uh, one more variable flag equal to 0 why if it is divided we can use the flag to identify whether it is divided or not in this case this is not divided here it is divided once it is divided we can stop the process so that flag is used to, to identify when say when it is divided we can make this variable change by changing this we can easily identify so initially it is zero flag equal to zero so n is the number need to identify whether it is prime number or not i is used for for loop flag is used for indication then after clear screen we ask the user to enter the positive number right so the user will enter that is scanned by the scan of function percentage d and n and n means ampersand n that is the address of n right the user what the number entered will store the location n right now we can stop the, now, now we can start the process for loop so it is started with the two for all the cases started with the two we cannot start with one right so it is started with two i less than or equal to n by two so n by two itself n no need to go i already told it is no it will go up to n minus one eight means n minus one seven right seven means eight minus uh, seven nine minus one six but in this case it's not necessary n divided by two itself n enough seven means we can go up to three right eight means we can go up to four itself because there itself it is divided right the division we can easily identify no need to go up to n minus 1 n by 2 itself it is enough then i plus plus because 2 3 4 5 means i equal to i plus 1 right so the initial value we know that for loop having three statement initial value condition increment initial value is 2 condition is we can go up to n minus 1 but n by 2 half of the number itself enough then increment is 1 i equal to i plus 1 that is i plus plus right now this is the process if n percentage i right n percentage i is double equal to 0 so n is the given number this i is nothing but initially it is 0 for example if it is 7 if we enter the number is 7 means the initial value of i is 2 so 7 percentage 2 that is equal to 0 but it's not equal to 0 the remainder is 1 is there right the remainder is 1 so it will go to the next process if it is divided then the uh, the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0 for this case we will take this the number is 8 suppose the user enter the number 8 right so here the number is 8 percentage initially the i value is 2 so 8 percentage 2 mean it is 0 the remainder is 0 so we are checking that is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 0 so this condition is satisfied so what we, what we need to if it is divided we can stop the process they say that the number 8 is not a prime number so that we can open one braces we have the two statement flag equal to 1 what is flag value already it is 0 right so always it is 0 if it is divided any number divided we immediately we can make it as flag is one and break the process no need to continue because once it is divided eight is divided by two we are not no need to continue no need to check with the three four five right we can break the process right so if it is divided the flag become one and break the process if it is not divided if it is not divided it will keep on check for example if it is seven first it will divide by 2 in that case remainder is there then divide by 3 because i will incremented i become 3 then i become 4 5 
right this 2 3 4 5 is incremented by the i value in all the cases it is not divided remainder is available so this condition is not satisfied so it will not go to this block this is a true statement this is not true in case of 7 so it will not go to this process then the entire loop got entire loop got completed so flag is 0 in case of 7 the flag value is 0 the flag is not equal to this 1 if it is divided the flag become 1 if it is not divided by any number the flag equal to 0 so by checking the flag value we can easily identify if the flag is 0 there is a the number is prime number if the flag is 1 means there is no, not a prime number because flag is become 1 only if it is divided and remainder is 0 in that case only the flag value become 1 so by checking the flag value we can easily identify now we will go to that how to check the flag value so after completing this process we are checking after the for loop and inside we have one more if loop that are all closed if flag equal to 0 so initially we set flag equal to 0 if it is 0 is mean the given number is a prime number that means it is not goes to the inside of the if condition so it is 0 if it is 1 else else means that means the flag become 1 when the flag become 1 any num number is divided by exactly divided and remainder is 0 means the flag become 1 right so in this case the given number is not a prime number right so by checking the flag if it is 0 the number is prime number if it is not 0 means the given number is a not prime number then after get CH we can close the program right so in this video we discuss how to find the given number is prime number or, or prime number or not so by dividing the number by finding the remainder we can easily identify if the remainder is 0 that means exactly divided so that number is not a prime number in that case we make the flag equal to 1 if it is not divided by any number that means it is there is no remainder remainder is not 0 always is available in that case the flag is is equal to 0 what we initial what we initially gave flag equal to 0 is not changed thereafter by checking the flag value we have decided whether the number is prime number or not flag is 0 means it's a prime number flag is 1 means it's not a prime number subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening